طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد في الدرس الرابع من المنح درسنا اليوم هو الجنس يعني جند الجنس في العربية مذكر يعني ماسكلين ومؤنث يعني فمن Look at the examples under المذكر مثال ثور ماء كرسي وطالب under المؤنث بقرة أرض طاولة وطالبة المذكر the masculine is of two types من نوعين حقيقي يعني true ومجازي that is arbitrary الحقيقي عن الإنسان والحيوان it's about animals and people والمجازي is about inanimate beings and all other objects so look at the حقيقي for some examples جمل male camel ولد boy رجل man أسد lion and under الجماد والمجازي قمر for moon وقلم for pen وكتاب for book المؤنث يعني the feminine is made of three types له ثلاثة أنواع حقيقي معنوي ولفظي يعني فيه علامة تأنيث you can see it marked by one of the signs of feminine at the end of the word so for حقيقي true is about true gender either of animals or of people بقرة a cow ناقة a female camel أستاذة is a female professor وامرأة a woman now المعنوي has feminine in it but it's not marked as such at the end سعاد is the name of a woman أرض for earth or ground and it's not marked you know at the end even though it is feminine عين for eye وشمس for sun now look at the last category the last category is marked at the end but by something that indicates that it is feminine طالبة has a تمربوطة علياء ends in a mad at the end وسلمة with ألف مقصورة and فاطمة too once again has the تمربوطة at the end علامات التأنيث so let's look now at how we mark a feminine word at the end التاء المربوطة in examples such as جامعة أستاذة امرأة الألف المقصورة can occur at the end of the words such as كبرى ليلى ذكرى سلوى and المد meaning you have an ألف at the end followed by همزة like in words such as خنفساء صحراء حمراء وعلياء جنس الاسم والصفة So now let's talk about how the adjective and the noun agree in gender together So طالب جديد is masculine in both of the its noun and its adjective جديد طالبة جديدة noun in both cases both are marked by a at the end to indicate their gender and they agree كرسي قديم again a masculine طاولة قديمة is a feminine and in this case you see that الاسم والصفة are marked by تأنيث at the end meaning the feminine marker of تمرد بعض الملاحظات some remarks to keep in mind first of all ليس كل ما ينتهي بعلامات التأنيث مؤنثا not everything that ends with a sign or a mark of the feminine gender is actually feminine in Arabic. Talhatu is a name of a man, even though it ends with tamarbuta. Zakariyau is a name of a man as well, even though it ends with al mad. What the word rahalatun means a super voyager, a traveler, and an explorer, and it's the tamarbuta there is not indicating gender. Second, بعض الأسماء تذكر وتؤنث. Some Nouns in Arabic have both genders and you can treat them as masculine or feminine. Dalwun, Sikkinun, Bi'run, Suqun, Wadira'un. 
if you take the word suqun for example as market you could use a feminine or masculine you could say suqun kabirun or suqun kabiratun and both of them are correct thalatha the last remark min al asma'i ma yufidu al jinsayn some nouns indicate actually both genders and are used for both gender dabbatun is a beast of burden a horse or a donkey or a mule and the word dabba has a tamarbuta even though it indicates both genders sakhlatun hayyatun wa shatun for sheep shukran jazilan ala intibahikum wa araakum fi al-dars al-qadim inshallah